Orlando Baby. We have a surprise for you, said Mother and Father. A little bit girl, asked Arthur. We are going to have a baby, said Mother. Ooh, Squirrel DW, I love babies. Oh, baby, said Arthur. Yes, it's about six months, said Father. Plenty of time for us all to get ready. Arthur's friend had a lot of advice. Better get some ear products, said Pinky Burns, or you never sleep. Forget about playing after school, said Buster. You have to babysit. You have to change all those those dirty diapers, said Muffy. And you probably started talking baby talk, said Fancy. Do do kaka poo poo. Oh, she's disgusting. For the next few months, everywhere Arthur looked, there were babies, more and more babies. I think babies are taking over, over the world, said Arthur. Don't look now, said Buster, but you could in the terrible trouble. One day after school, the W climbed by her arm. I will teach you how to diaper a baby, she said. Don't worry about diapers, said Mother. Come sit next to me. I want to show you something. Arthur's age, nine months. Is that really me? asked Arthur. Yes, said Arthur. You are such a cute baby. Arthur the age one year. DWH two months. Oh, mom and dad, or mom and dad faces are that good. Look, said W. This is me with mommy. This is mommy and daddy. Don't don't look or. I look adorable. DWH five months. No, you are disgusting. So the Saturday morning, mother took out her suitcase. Where are you going? Asked Arthur. The baby could some come any day now. Said mother. I need to ready for the hospital. Here, said T.W., something for you to look at while you there. Sunday morning, Arthur and D.W. found Grandma Tora fixing a perfect. You have a new sister, she said. You be, you be, you be, said D.W. She will be just like me. That's what I'm afraid of, said Arthur. The next day, they went to the hospital for the new baby. We named her Kate, said father. I think she has your nose, Arthur. I think she has T.W.'s mouth, said T.W. Oh, she has crying. On Tuesday, mother and father bought Kate home. Everyone was touching like they never seen a baby before. Every time the doorbell rang, more present arrived. They are not for you, Arthur, said the W. They are for the babies. Arthur, don't you want to try holding Kate? Mama, mother asked, can I have another turn first, said W. It's Arthur's turn, said mother. I'd rather look, Arthur said. It just tastes well, DW said. Arthur doesn't know me about babies.
A few days later, her mom needed some help. I have to go upstairs, she said. Arthur, could you watch Kate? Me ask Arthur. What should I do? Don't worry, I take care of everything. And the doorbell rang. The W answered the door. Arthur can play, she said. He has to babysit, but you can come and see the baby. Don't forget to close because you all have germs. And be quiet, D.W. said. The baby is sleeping. Look, said Flintstein. She opened her eyes. Stand back, said D.W. She wants her bottle. Kate drank her bottle in a flash. D.W. gave... Then she began to cry. Everyone remain calm, said D.W. D.W. gave Kate a kiss. Kate cried louder. Bounce. D.W. bounce Kate. Kate screamed. Arthur, quick, do something, D.W. said. It's your baby, too. All of the sudden, she's my baby, said Arthur. Why she is crying, said D.W. She's trying to tell you something, said Arthur. What, did ask D.W. Listen carefully, said Arthur. Bulb, said Kate. Is everything all right? Ask Mother Lily now. Arthur answer L- leading by injection and Jenny uh oh she's shy.